Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. Listen, I totally understand that economic bloodbath is an actual term used in economics sometimes. And also, I know that we shouldn't take anything Trump says literally because his brains are leaking out of his ears. But I just can't help but feel bad for the low-level Trump staffer who has to go on Meet the Press every other week to spin some bull for the general audience by pretending we're all crazy for thinking that Trump supporters might actually create real bloodbaths in the street and that Trump might actually want to be a dictator. For realsies. Trump campaign aides said Thursday the former president was simply trying to trigger the left and the media with his dictator comment. Yeah, I get it. The guy does always want to trigger the left. But he also wants to be a dictator. You know how I know? He told Steve Ducey that when he didn't think the camera Cameras were rolling. Are we close to seeing uh, Mr. Kim here at the White House? Uh, could happen. He's the head of a country, and I mean, he is the strong head. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone think anything different. Right. He speaks and his people sit up at attention. I want my people to do the right. same. Like, he obviously wants to be the dictator of America. And he knows that might involve the kinds of tactics that Kim Jong-un employs, like, you know, killing folks. And whether he's speaking figuratively or not, the fact remains that his supporters are all for it. Would you rather have four years of Donald Trump as a dictator or four years of President Biden reelected? You, you know, you don't have to like the words that come out of the man's mouth, but sometimes in life we all need a good paddling from the principal. Okay, that's creepy. We, this country needs a dictator. I hate to say that, but it's the truth. So when Trump says stuff like he wants to be a dictator and there's gonna be a bloodbath, don't gaslight me and call me crazy for simply pointing out that that's exactly what his supporters want. Over time, it gets more and more specific and people get more and more outraged by what he's saying until they're essentially calling for a dictatorship. So with January 6th, he, he eventually said, this specific election's rigged. There are votes that have disappeared. Everybody is taking this from me and you guys need to go down to the Capitol and show them what's what. And whether he meant that through his specific language or not, the fact remains that his supporters broke into the Capitol building, tried to end democracy and hang his vice president by the throat till he was dead from it. <laughs> So at the very least, I think we should stop Donald Trump from saying stuff like this. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. So Trump, you can't talk about bloodbaths anymore. The same way that like OJ Simpson can't talk about getting stabbed in the back. You know, 